Hello everybody and welcome to the Cinepax YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can get these awesome free vintage scan effects inside DaVinci Resolve and how you can edit with them, stylize them, and use them for your needs. So let's jump right into it. Now to get this pack today, head on over to Cinepax.com and add the free vintage scan pack to your cart. Then go ahead, just put in your email, that's where you're going to get the download link, and from there you'll get your free pack. You can use this pack in any of the projects, it's completely free. Once you have it downloaded, you're going to get a zip file here, make sure you double click on it to open it up, and drag the assets, which are these three video clips, outside of this folder to extract them, and from there we can go ahead and import them into DaVinci Resolve. I go ahead and do that from the media page here, as you can see, I drag them into this folder called pack assets, and I just drag them right into my media pool, which is right here. Once you have them in your media pool, we're ready to edit. All right, so as you can see, they are all some really cool, like high paced, scanned, and digitalized effects here. They are all 4K resolution, they're exported in H.264 main, and from here, they're really easy to use. As you can see, I got some footage right here. All you have to do is drag and drop them on top of your footage right there. And once you do that, go on over to your inspector right here and change the composite mode to something like screen. You can experiment with these a lot. A lot of different blend modes work. Uh, you could try something like uh, not overlay, more, uh, let's see, linear dodge. That'll give you a much brighter sort of effect with it. Or you could do something like, um, what is it? Color, I think color dodge is what I'm looking for. Where is that? Uh, color dodge. If you do that, you can see you'll get a really hard toned digitalized color effect there. But we're gonna stick with screen for right now. Now the same goes for all the other effects here. As you can see, if I drag this one in, and I just play this through, I can switch this over to screen as well, and you get the exact same sort of thing. Now if you wanted to change the color of any of these, all you gotta do is why don't we go ahead and head over to the color page right here, and once you're inside of here, let me close a few things out here, um, all you gotta do is maybe make sure that you're in your log wheels right here, and just shift the highlights around. You can see right there, I can shift into an orange there, or into like a blue. Another thing you can do is kind of mess with the temperature if you want to. But if you want to get really rich colors out of this, I'd suggest going over here to your RGB outputs and just manually affecting each of the channels here. So as you can see, I could bring up my red input a lot and maybe bring down the blue and the green. And then once I mess around and find a good balance, if I want to get like a really sharp red, like right around there, now you can see that has a much more vibrant color to it. If you want to go ahead and uncheck preserve luminance, that will give you a very saturated and harsh color there. But we're going to go ahead and keep it there. Um, I kind of want to, uh, let's go with the yellow. I like that. Now you could go ahead and mask these out. I sort of like to layer a lot of these when I'm editing, especially in like music videos. It looks really cool. So if I go ahead, hold down alt and duplicate my main footage here and just drag it on top. Now we can go ahead and mask out the top in the color page here. And we'll just do something simple. Go over to our masks here, click on a curve, and maybe I'll just zoom in and I will do a very rough sort of uh, mask around him real quick. Just for the sake of the video, we're, we're gonna keep this short. Uh, you can just click to create a point and we'll go down like that. And I think we'll keep it right around here. Click and drag to create a uh, spline like this. If you need to edit the spline at all, you can just go ahead and move the handles around to adjust it. Uh, hold down control to just separate each of the handles so you have more control there. Um, and then when you press one down, you can keep kind of messing with it. If you ever screw up, all you have to do is middle mouse button to delete. And there you go. That's basically a quick rundown of how to use the pen tool here. Once I have the mask here, I'll go over to the tracker here and I can go ahead and just track this forward real quick. And if I wanted to, I could go ahead and track it back. Once I'm done tracking, just to add our final touches, let's just soften the mask up a little bit and give it a little bit of an inside blur right there. And that will wrap everything up. Now to get our mask through, which if I press this, you can see here's our mask. 
Uh, all we have to do is right click on our nodes here and add an alpha output and drag our blue alpha to the output there. And that will now show up inside of our edit page. And there we go. Now you got an awesome outline that you can use for music videos and all sorts of different things that's really fun to mess with. One final thing that we could do here, if I drag this glitching effect right here, if I go ahead and drag it in between these two clips, we can make a cool transition here, as you can see. Oh, we got a lot going on. I layered that up pretty fast. Um, but if you wanted to, I could right click on it and let's change the clip speed. Let's speed it up by like 200% right there. So it flickers a lot faster. So if we play this through, there we go. You can see it kind of glitches really fast. And I am pretty sure if you go over to the effects library, under the effects toolbox. I'm pretty sure these are default included with DaVinci Resolve. So if they are, all you gotta do is click on these. Let's maybe go ahead and add a cut there and add a cut here. Let me move this out of the way. We're not using that. Um, so if we go ahead and do that, let's just click on both of these and drag the digital glitch on top of these. And once we do that, as you can see there, it kind of glitches with the image. I'm gonna go ahead and just move this to the top layer, that way it's on top of everything else. And if we play this through, now you got a really sick transition and it looks pretty cool. So that's pretty easy to accomplish. All you have to do is speed up the vintage overlay, put it between two clips, and maybe add some additional glitching um, between the two clips. And you'll get a really cool kind of shuddery and quick digital transition. All right, so that just about wraps up the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the free sample pack. We also have the full pack available for purchase on cinepacks.com. This comes up with a huge amount of different vintage scans. You got gun sections, which you didn't see in our free sample one here. You got a variety of more like printed text ones, as you can see, and there's a ton more to mess with. Textures as well, which is just grunge and overlays that you can use for various things. And even cooler vehicle blueprints like this. This. One of my favorites are the maps as well right here as you can see. So if you want to get this pack, head on over to synpacks.com, add it to your cart, use the code SAMPLE15. SAMPLE15 will give you 15% off your order so you can use that for any of the packs right there. So go ahead and check that out, definitely worth your while. So other than that, happy editing, have a great day, peace.